Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about slope and aspect, what they are, and how we can compute them from a digital elevation model. So one reason, you know, slope and aspect are important for many reasons. One of those is avalanche prediction, right? The likelihood that a layer of snow might start to slide and trigger an avalanche depends very much on slope and also on aspect. It depends which way the slope is facing, how much sun it's had or how much sun it hasn't had. So a great example of this is a recent paper, Spatial Modeling of Snow Avalanches, where they threw in all of this data, elevation, total precipitation index, wind index, but also slope or slop and aspect. So this is an example of how you might compute slope and aspect on a raster for every pixel in a raster, and then use it as part of some larger calculation. For example, the, the avalanche hazard in the Himalaya. And then here's the output map of snow avalanche hazard susceptibility. Pretty cool work. Okay, but that's not the only thing slope is useful for. Also, we can map landslide hazards. Uh, we can implement building or zoning codes, uh, compute mass balance of glaciers, compute vulner vulnerability to soil erosion. Slope is really one of these fundamental uh, properties of the landscape, and it's a fundamental thing that can be cal calculated Excuse me, from a DEM. Okay, so you all know what slope is in 2D. It's rise over run, right? Or uh, A over B, literally in this case. So let's think about what this looks like actually in three dimensions. Um, three, there's two ways to compute slope in three dimensions. One of them is called the four nearest approach. And essentially what that does is it goes to a pixel and you're saying, hey, I want to know what the slope of this pixel is, right? But the, in, in 3D, right, um, that's a little bit tricky because um, the slope of the surface depends which direction you're looking down the surface, right? If you're looking straight down the slope or if you're looking a little bit off to the side um, and also it depends on the values of the surrounding pixels. So what the four nearest approach does, um, if we want to know the slope at this pixel, which has an elevation of 44, it actually computes the slope twice. It computes it once in this direction, and then once in this direction. And then it uses the uh, Pythagorean theorem to actually uh, compute the true slope. So just to show that. All right, so the slope in this direction is uh, 45 minus 48. That's the difference in elevation divided by 20. That is the uh, distance. These are 10 meter pixels. So basically this is a, a pixel distance of two pixels or 20 meters. All right, so we got the elevation change divided by the uh, distance, also known as rise over run, gives us a slope of minus 0 0.15. Do the same thing here, get a slope of 0 0.45. And then to compute the 3D slope, we are literally going to uh, go a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We'll solve that out here by taking the square root of a squared plus b squared. And that gives us a 3D slope of 0 0.474, right? And, and uh, there you go. OK, so another way to do this is called the third order infinite approach. And this is very similar. It's just a little bit beefier basically. Um, so what you do is instead of just taking, um, you know, computing the slope twice, kind of in the, the y and in the x direction, we actually compute the slope four times in the y and four times in the x, and then we average them. So for example, um, as we think about the y direction here, um, we've got 47 minus 52 plus 45 minus 48 twice. So we actually consider this middle one twice. Plus 42 minus 44, that's this one, divided by 80. So that's uh, the equivalent distance to four, <laughs> horizontal distance of four of these. And we get minus 0 0.16. We then plug it into Pythagorean theorem again and solve to get a, a slope of 0 0.422. So you can see these are actually pretty similar. They give pretty similar results, but they are slightly different in computation. Great, so that was slope. What about aspect? What is aspect, right? You kind of know what slope is. Aspect is the direction that a slope is facing, the compass direction, okay? This slope is facing north. 
this slope is facing east. And that is determined by first determining the direction of steepest gradient down, down a slope. In other words, if you dropped a soccer ball on a hill slope, which way would it roll, right? It would roll down the steepest, the direction of steepest gradient. And so if you then turn the path of that soccer ball into a line, that line is basically pointing in the direction of the slope aspect, okay? And um, so this map shows uh, aspect. Here's a volcano. You can see the blues are pointing south and southwest. The reds are pointing north and northeast. Um, and so this may be an, this aspect raster may be an input into uh, additional calculations. And it's important for lots of reasons. Um, you know, one obvious one, we talked about avalanches already. Also, it controls the amount of sunshine that a hill slope receives, right? So uh, sunnier slopes may be drier or wetter, right, because, because of the sun. It may control the type of vegetation that's growing. So it's a pretty important um, factor in a lot of analyses. Thanks, everybody.